To control forwarding on an IP office system, simply connect to the system and then navigate to the user that you'd like to control forwarding for. So select the extension now from the central section. Then on the right hand side, select the forwarding tab. You have various options on here for forwarding your phone. We'll start with forward unconditional. Forward unconditional will send any call that is sent to this extension to the forward number specified. To do this, tick the box and enter a forward number. This can be an internal or an external number. In this case, we'll use our mobile. We also want to forward hunt group calls so that any call that is sent to a hunt group that I'm a member of that is set to sequential will also forward to my mobile. You can use this for phantom extensions but we'll discuss that in a later video. Selecting forward and conditional and forward and busy are mutually exclusive and cannot both be selected at the same time. So for this purpose we'll just untick the forward and conditional. This will enable the forward on busy and forward on no answer sections of the forwarding screen. Forward on busy will forward our phone if we are already on a call or if we've put ourselves into do not disturb. Forward on no answer will forward the phone call to another device but only after a set amount of time has elapsed and the system has determined that we're not going to answer the phone. The default is 15 seconds. The forward number here is stored separately to the forward unconditional number. So you can set this to be another mobile and not worry about losing the other forwarding instructions should we want to revert back to a forward unconditional. Once you're happy with your forwarding settings, hit the OK button and then save using the icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen. I hope you find this tutorial on voicemail I hope you find this tutorial on IP Office forwarding useful. However, if you have any further queries then please do not hesitate to contact us.